New tonight and only here on 11 Alive, moments of excitement turned to shock and pain. Well, tonight, an Atlanta mentorship program that strives to prepare black youth for success is now fighting to bounce back after experiencing vandalism over the weekend. So the program is called Helping Empower Youth. It was preparing to participate in the city's Atlanta Streets Alive initiative. It's an opportunity to promote the brand, sell some products to the community, and pour that right back into the program. Well, the bad news here, folks, is they found their kiosk in shambles along with several missing items, including thousands of dollars worth of merchandise gone. But now the nonprofit's co-founder, Casey Venning, says this setback will not slow down that mission. Tonight, 11 Alive's Naima Abdullahi brings us the vision behind Hay, what they had to overcome over the years and how they are developing the future leaders of tomorrow. Back in 2009, the Hay program was just an idea, and now it provides a safe space for black youth in Atlanta, giving them a pathway to bettering their lives. Please be safe, make good choices. For Casey Benning and Mark Boyd, it's personal. I want to stand in the gap for them. If you're born into poverty in Atlanta, there is only a 4% chance of escaping it. I know it's hard in the moment. According to the Atlanta Wealth Building Initiative. For us, it really was about bringing awareness and attention to what was really happening um, versus just moving them off the corners. Just like this. Now, the after-school leadership development program attracts countless Atlanta youth. She works with co-founder Mark Boyd, who the boys refer to as coach, to recruit and keep the kids engaged. From everything that happened on the outside to everything that it's going to happen here in Miss Catherine Johnston's space. Miss Catherine Johnston's home is the same spot where the 92 year old woman was shot and killed by police serving a no knock warrant at the wrong address. You were the first here today. Today, the Hay program shows how a once tragic location is a safe space for the next generation. With Miss Casey, like he said, she like our mama. What's the problem? She done taught us about like how to build businesses, like. You know, like in the world, nobody else will never tell you anything like that. While Casey shapes minds, Coach Boyd is working on growing retention. For the former Marine, service now looks like this, helping keep boys from joining gangs or dropping out from school. For them, this is a no judgment zone. Where we was raised, we really didn't know proper grammar or we really didn't know how to really talk to people. So like they helped us out a lot too. In the midst of the George Floyd protests, Casey stepped in to de-escalate situations between the boys selling water and police. It activated protection mode um, because so many times young people are always told that they're wrong and kind of cast to the side. And I found myself digging my heels in and fighting for them. Casey says the boys deserve grace. When you see an Atlanta youth selling water bottles, know there's a story behind it that the child is not responsible for. I think it's bigger than a bottle. And so I don't think it was ever about the bottle itself. It was, we see what poverty looks like in this city now. And we can't ignore it and we can't hide it. Helping empower youth, a place for guidance and tough love. Most importantly, love. It's important, I know for me personally, to be a softer place for them, even when I have to tell them the hard truths. Casey Benning says more programs like this are needed in the city of Atlanta. Right now, Hay is trying to bounce back from the financial loss the vandalism has caused. 